I'm thinking that given that almost all of the regolith coming down is somewhere in the realm of like 140, I, I just, we can happily accept power from this. Happily. This will act, uh, stop the, the power if it drops below 130. I'm going to set it to 120. And this one is going to go for 140. If it's above 140, I'm going to tell this to dump it only if it's below 120. We're going to eke out as, as much little bits of power as we can out of what's coming in. There we are. Now we're going to be able to pull a lot of power out of this because it's going to take some time for the, uh, the regolith that, that's there to be completely uh, com completely uh, shut down. That should mean that a lot of this is going to cool off. Or at least I'm very much hopeful that it will. The auto super is actually getting hotter though. Hmm. Let's have a look at the, the temperatures here. That is a fantastically hot bunker tile. And also reasonably warm drywall as well. Okay, well, we're just going to have to wait for the temperatures to uh, adjust a bit from the... from the gases that we're releasing onto that drywall. Hopefully it'll start pulling it down a bit, but... might be a bit of a rough one. might not be enough just because the materials here are so hot already I mean this one is actually cooling now this is getting a little little tiny bit co colder as time goes on down here not so much because uh, the gas is kind of oofs straight out there but We'll have a watch. Hello, oh, Sprat. How are you doing, mate? Sweepy Dark is... Actually, it's wobbling in, in temperature. Interesting. How about you? Conveyor loader is still gaining temperature. The auto sweeper is hovering this ish. I mean, gradually we're pulling down the temperature of the bunker tile, but honestly, that one's going to be a bit of a rough one for us, really. I could run coolant through the tiles. The tiles themselves, I, I could cool the walls down. I just can't cool down the uh, the. Uh, Robo miners, sadly. That's definitely something we could do, though. I can actively cool the tiles that they're a part of. Yeah, the the regolith is fantastically hot. That's always going to cause me issues. Perhaps if I had uh, bunker tile followed by a layer of insulation, it would have been a better idea. I hadn't really considered it, but it makes a lot of sense now that I'm thinking about it. That being said, I mean, it's kind of hovering. It might actually be getting to a point where it might be able to uh, pull that down a bit. Over here, of course, on the other hand, it's perfectly fine, but on this side, not quite as much. Manual airlock, we'll get that installed there shortly. I would like some obsidian tiles going all the way up, uh, at least so far. And then some steel coming across, try and seal this off. Ultimately, I want all of this drywalled so that I can have uh, power flowing freely through here. 
Let me see how that goes. The temperature of the oxygen that we're adding into the piping is, unfortunately, moves that behind. That being said... So like over there, it's still oh, kind of okay, but yeah, this auto sweep is actually starting to cool off now. Excellent. Temperature in here. I mean, the, the power being generated by this is dropping, sadly. That said. I could use the coolant that is currently keeping this area cool. Oh, if mm, see, nah, that's that's an issue there. I could use this coolant, but got a funny feeling that that would be way, way, way insufficient. And in fact, if I did that, I would probably. Flash the liquid in them to steam. I would need a coolant that was far, far superior. Um, capable of handling significantly higher temperatures, I would imagine. Would be, would, would be where I would need it to be. Still something I can consider. Um... Where would I set that up? I could have something down here, uh, a little steam engine, just just a tiny little one, mostly there just to delete heat, rather than actually provide anything. So it would need to, it would only need, it need to be a, a, a relatively small chamber, with just big enough for an aqua tuner, thermo aqua tuner in there, um, and then a steam engine above that. That said, you know, with certain uh, certain liquids, it well, no, I was going to say with certain liquids, it it, it would actually be possible to to drain heat into the regular, the, depending, but that that wouldn't actually solve the problem for me over here. That's just a a neat little trick, but. Okay, well that's good enough for now. I mean, Sweepy is doing, doing uh, Sweepy's job, getting everything moved over here. Sweepy's dock is currently full of things. Everything is getting colder because of the cooling that I'm providing to this area, which is perfectly fine for now, but. Oh, wow. That really shouldn't be that low. Stop it after 1.30. I'm going to dump this out once it's dropped below 1.30. I don't see much point in keeping anything in here beyond that. We're getting so little bang for buck out of the energy that we've got then. Uh, can I afford to make another one of these? I can't, damn. That would have been nice to get, a, get another one there, but uh, it'll do as it is. Uh, at the very least, we can get the uh, materials out of here before they lose too much heat. I mean, ultimately, the system is designed around the idea of just getting the the materials into this while it's still hot. Yeah, we've got Mafic Rock at 150 degrees there. That's actually not too bad. We'll allow this place to build up its temperature a little bit, hopefully. Problem being, if it's yeah, we actually need to dump it if it's no longer hot enough to activate the turbines. Otherwise, you end up with a, a system where there isn't enough heat in here to activate the turbines, but it isn't enough. Uh, it isn't cold enough to be dumped. So, realistically speaking, I do need it to be uh, 140 where it gets gets output. Uh, 
well, yeah, we've gotten, gotten through everything. Sweepy's got a bunch more stuff to bring along. Now, that's the other thing, is it's dumping all of its heat into the flooring here. You know what? I wonder. Can I make it... Oh. Hmm. I hadn't considered this, but we could build the floor out of insulation. I hadn't considered that at all, but that might help. If we make it out of obsidian, it'll still be too hard for a shovel if it got in there to get through. Music reminds you of sport. Yeah, I guess so, actually, yeah. There's no way I can open this up until we've gotten everything out of here. Why is that not getting taken out? Oh, the iron is there to rebuild Sweepy, I guess. What is Sweepy doing? There we go. Perfect. Now that's some very hot raglith immediately be being taken out of there now. Conveyor loader got a fair whack of uh, heat there. In general, it's not terrible. The fact that this is just going to continually dump more and more heat into this is a problem for me. Okay, so it's not going to be as simple as I initially thought. I am still going to have to actively cool the upper area. There's just no way around that. A small steam turbine would be able to handle it, more than likely. Let's go ahead and set something up along those lines. I could have several small um, turbines together. Right now this is the only area that we've actually done anything with, so it doesn't really make sense that we would need to worry too much about... Uh, Pulling anything else down. We could have the coolant area in here. Seems to make sense to me. Honestly, if we just stripped all of that away, it would be fine. Uh, let me go ahead and finish this little area off. Honestly, I, I actually do think that it would probably be wise for me to do so. Over on this side, not so much reason to, but I will seal that section off. I, I kind of dislike seeing the little border there. It's fine if it's meant to be outside, but uh, not when it's meant to be an internal, internal area. Hello, Brian. A wild avoc in, uh, in his natural environment. A rare sight for my tired eyes. <laughs> well, I'm afraid. We're not long away from wrapping this up. Probably another 20 minutes or so. But hello, mate. I hope you've had a, had a good day. Good morning, Timmy of Derp. Our ranching is actually going quite well. We're even feeding them now. They even get food.
Hopefully we can get most of this done reasonably fast. Now, a steam turbine would fit into this little area. Now, this one wouldn't be there for me to ever interact with, so I would probably expose it to the vacuum of space, let it just completely empty, drywall it, put it in a little vent, and then get some uh, hydrogen in there. Any gas would do, realistically speaking, but hydrogen would be particularly nice. Well, uh, why, have you, why have you quoted me saying this? Oh, my lord. You make them happy enough that they don't care that they're starving. And then they have kids, anyway. I mean, it's true, but... And yeah, the, the DLC adds a lot of interesting stuff. An awful lot of interesting things. It is going to be very, very cool. But I do want to finish this... Uh, this base before we get to any of that. Once this opens up, this is just going to drill all of that away. I was well this one, realistically speaking. Build amalgam. All right, let's go down and have a quick look at the... Uh, Oh, wow, they're, they're not bringing much up anymore. It's uh, That's why it's still quite a lot of it is... Uh... Well, no, no, it doesn't seem that we're just... It seems that we're just not pulling much. It's starting to increase the, the density of all of this. How are the critters doing? It is mostly carbon dioxide in here now. I say, as the top is just full of chlorine, but that's fine. It's okay. They're not complaining. They can't. Right, let's get rid of these. Right, how is our... Oh, no! Poop. That's the prize! <laughs> On the plus side, though, it vents it if it can't do anything with it. Rather than getting rid of it, we vent it so it is still around. We're still, we've still got the gas is there, which is fine. Uh, no, we can't go through there. We will have to bring this across and down and then bridge it. This one, however, can just go straight down on the cross. Okay. That needs to be done as a reasonably high priority. That will sort out some additional storage. We've got a lot more to go, though. Oh, actually, no, the dormancy there is 1.6 cycles, so maybe not then. 
How about down here? It's probably going to be quite some time. Yeah, 43.3 cycles. We should be okay. My big issue, though, is the lack of steel. That one's hurting us now. We need to get the space... Uh, back into space fairly soon, I'll say. What are we lacking? Line. For that, we need poke shell molts. We need eggshells. Poke shell molts would be one of the big ones, though. I wonder if we could farm poke shells. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we're going to need lots of steel. We don't have a lot of iron, but... Uh, in fact, we have no iron ore around. This does have a reasonable amount of iron in it, but... If only we had an iron volcano. That would have that would have made made it impossible to not win. We would have had so much steel. We may have to hodgepodge our way for a bit, I think. Copper will get us quite far. But I mean I can make copper um steam engine. There's no no particular reason to make them out of uh, out of out of steel. There's, in fact, there's absolutely no reason to make them out of steel. They have an impossibly high overheat temperature. What I need to be made out of steel are things like the uh, the aqua tuners because they have to handle much much higher temperatures to be uh, to be particularly functional. Um. The alternative, though, is to bury an aqua tuna in water, or to actually submerge it and run it in the water for a while, because then you can have it be made of something like uh, like gold amalgam or something along those lines. I don't need this many hydrogen generators. We're not using them yet. So, let's deconstruct some of them. They're massively surface demand. Two would be enough. These ones can be replaced. These ones actually need... Well, actually, no, 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 no. A hydrogen generator does need that. Cancel these. But the these ones can be replaced with copper. I don't need these to be made of steel. So go ahead and deconstruct that and then rebuild it as a copper one. That will be the way that we get some more more uh, steel available to us. Now, if I had the means to, I could fit a lot more of these across. But I think three is good enough for now. Oops, I need to make sure that I'm deleting the right thing. You don't need any pumps in here, or at least normally we wouldn't. Uh... Let's have a look at the, the plumbing in this room. Actually, realistically speaking, we could get away with it. I could build more generators in here if I really wanted to. Hmm. No, we're, we're not even making use of the ones we've got. Why am I considering building them? That seems rather dumb. I am going to need the, that one rebuilt, though, very quickly. We do not need this many. We have nowhere near the power to run this many. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. We do actually have the, the power to do that. But, uh, we don't need to. In most cases, we're managing with one or two. Much less four. Go. 
And that one as well. Let's get all of those rebuilt, please. And we should be good. We'll make sure these are rebuilt as a crazily high priority. Okay, we've actually managed it. It's now just steam up at up the top. I could allow the steam to stay there, honestly, if I really wanted to. Um, it's not really doing me any any disservice being there. Pumping out a lot of heat and a lot of water into the outside. If I were to capture it, that would be somewhat more useful to me. Or at the very least, put it where I, I, I want that water to be. Could move it down here, for example. Just allow it to condense in, into whatever it wants to be somewhere safer. It's an option, certainly. But for the most part, we've now got our means of dealing with the heat up here. So with that done, in fact, we can just go ahead and finish that off right away. And then pop in another steel. Well, honestly, I'm going to say we probably don't need that one to be sealed. This one, maybe. A shovel could conceivably get down here. But honestly, I'm starting to think that there may not be any shovels there anymore. That we would need to worry about. Ooh, these are getting rather hot. Right. Time for us to build the ladder all the way up. Uh, we'll keep that one there for the moment, just so that we can reach up to that point. I've got to say though, I'm 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 a little bit uh, underwhelmed with how quickly Sweepy can do this. I mean, I know it's fully automated, but at the same time, though I guess it, 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 there is no race on it. It's not like the Mafic Rock or the Regolith is going anywhere. They finish setting this up? No, not yet. I do actually rather need this done quickly, though. 